हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई अपलोडेड वन पॉइंट एक्सरसाइज वन पॉइंट वन वन पॉइंट टू एंड वन पॉइंट थ्री एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू एक्सरसाइज वन पॉइंट फोर सो बिफोर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द एक्सरसाइज इफ यू आर न्यू टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल सो दैट यू विल गेट द नोटिफिकेशन रिगार्डिंग द नेक्स्ट वीडियोज Okay, students. Uh, before going to start exercise one point four, I would like to revise just uh, what is irrational number and terminating and non-terminating all this. So, if you know this means uh, terminating and non-terminating, uh, and uh, what is the decimal expansion of the terminating and non-terminating, little bit I will explain. Then I will go for the exercise one point four. Let's uh, discuss about that uh, irrational number, terminating and non-terminating. So, students, we can see that. Irrational numbers and rational numbers. Questions. Irrational numbers already we know that uh, root and uh, prime numbers are there. Questions. And uh, what about the rational number? Already you know. I have explained you detail. If you don't know about this one, uh, you can watch my exercise one point one regarding the real numbers. So you will get the complete detail information regarding this one. So here, uh, rational number means again uh, they have the two conditions here. What are the condition means? Uh, one is uh, it should be terminating. It should be terminating, and uh, second condition is non-terminating but repeating. But repeating. See, I will give you example. Uh, if uh, six divided by two is there, two three is a six. Uh, six minus six is zero. Means uh, here you, we, this is example for the terminating. Okay. And one more example I will give. Five divided by two. If you do two two is a four. Remainder is one. Again you will take point here zero two five is a ten. Don't. This is also example for the terminating. Don't think that it is non-terminating. This is also example for the terminating. Okay. Okay. These are examples for the terminating. So I will give one example of non-terminating, and I will go for the next session. See here, ten uh, divided by nine. Ten uh, divided by three, you can take. So three three is a nine. Remainder is one. So if you take here a decimal point and take zero. Again, three three is a nine, one. Again, three three is a nine, one. So you can observe here. Here three is repeating. It is uh, non-terminating, but the, the numbers are repeating. So these kind of examples are called as non-terminating but repeating. Okay. And what about the decimal expansion? In the decimal expansion, we can say that again terminating and non-terminating is there. So let us. Uh, Uh, see the examples means uh, exercise one point four. Directly we will go for the exercise one point four. So students, you can see that exercise one point four. In exercise one point four, what is the first question? Without actually performing the long division, state whether the following rational numbers will have a terminating decimal expansion or non-terminating repeating decimal expansion. Say here, without actually Performing a long division. Already we know that long division. Sure, this is here. Example is there. This is the long division. So we not know, not need to do this one here. But without doing that long division, what we have to find out? We have to find the rational numbers. We we'll have a terminating, term is it terminating decimal expansion or non-terminating repeating decimal expansion? We have to find out. So in that first question, thirteen uh, by three thousand one hundred twenty-five is there. Let us see how we can do this one. Already, I told you the question number one point four means the first question. Said that first question is thirteen by three thousand one hundred twenty-five. Friends, uh, see here. Uh, listen it carefully. So, if you, if you understand first question clearly, the next questions you can understand easily. So, thirteen by three thousand one hundred twenty-five. In this. What we have to do? We have to find out the prime factors of uh, 
both these numbers. Actually, first step is we have to find the prime factors of prime factors of numerator and denominator. We have to find out. But one thing you can observe here in the numerator, it is thirteen. So thirteen is a prime number. So not need to do a prime factorization method. Already, it is a prime number. Okay, students. So we have to what we have to find out now? Prime factors of only. Three thousand one hundred twenty-five. We have to find out. But it is if it is not a prime number, then we should find the prime factors of these numbers also. Friends, let us see next. Now we have to find the prime factors of the three thousand one hundred twenty-five. Sir. Now, from which uh, division, <coughs> which number it will be division divisible? Is it possible from the two? No, and it is uh, possible because this is odd number, no? So it is not possible by two. And is it possible by three? No, it is not possible. So we can take uh, directly five. So five six is thirty. <coughs> five two is ten. Five five is twenty-five. Again, uh, five is there. Take the same number. Five ones are five. Five twos are ten. Five five is twenty-five. Again, from five, five twos are ten. Five five is twenty-five. Next, directly five five is five ones are. Now, what we have to do? We have to write this prime factors of three thousand one hundred twenty-five. How many are there? All this we have to write here. Five into five into five into five into five. Total. Five fives are there. We have to write. Now after this, we have to write. <coughs> we can write like this: thirteen as it is, because it is a prime number. And here, uh, in the numerator, denominator place, what we have to write? Five to the power five. So here uh, we can see that the denominator. Is. Of the form five to the power m. Okay, hence the decimal expansion of thirteen by three thousand one hundred twenty-five is terminating. So this is also very important. After doing the sum, we should not leave as it is because after this we have to write. And one thing, uh, one more thing, I want to tell you: always we have to see is it in the form of two to the power n and five to the power n. Okay, the denominator we have to observe. And one more thing is there: if it is not in the two to the power n and five to the power n, we can see that. Uh, Two to the power n and five to the power m is also there. <coughs> okay. If uh, these numbers are there in the denominator, then we can say that decimal expansion is terminating. If these numbers are not there, it is in the not form of the two to the power n and five to the power n or two to the power n into five to the power m. Then we have to say it is a it is not a terminating. Okay, friends. Well, friends, I hope you understood this one. Now we have completed the first one. Now let's go for the question number two. That is seventeen uh, by eight. Let us see how we can do this. Students, we can see that uh, question number two, seventeen by eight. So again, we have to find the prime factors of both numbers, numerator and denominator. But uh, don't think that uh, we have to focus only on denominator because uh, sometimes. Uh, When the numerator is there, if that number is uh, not a prime number, then we should uh, find that prime factors two. Why it is there? Uh, in next sum, I will explain you. But uh, uh, concentrate on question number two. That is seventeen by eight. First, uh, we can see here numerator. It is already prime number. So we can leave this one, and we have to find out the prime factors of eight now. Prime factors of Eight, okay. Now, prime factors of eight are 
2 into 2 into 2 we can write directly if you don't know we can do again like this the factor method 2 4 the 8 2 2 the 2 1 the so this only I have written here now we can write here as it is 17 by 2 to the power 3 how many 2's are there 3 times so now now at this time after doing this we have to focus on we have to concentrate on the denominator here we have to write the denominator is of the form what is it is in the form it is in the 2 to the power m so what i told before only i told you if it is 2 to the power n and 2 to the power n or 2 to the power m and 4 to the power m uh, if that number is there we can say it as a what we can say hence we have to write hence the decimal expansion of 17 by 8 is terminating Hey friends, uh, this is about question number two. I hope you all understood this one. Let's go for question number three. So, uh, the question number three in uh, exercise 1.4 uh, first main, it is uh, 64 by 455. Let us see the question number three. It is 64 by 455. Here, we can see here the 64, it is not a prime number. So, what we have to do, students, we have to find the prime factors of both here. So, uh, prime factors of 64 we have to find it first. Here we can do 64. So, the number is even. So, we can start with 2, 2, 3, 2, 2, 2, 1, and 2, 6, 2 eight za, two four za, two two za, two one za. So how many twos are there? After that we can count and we can write this one. And next one, uh, write uh, uh, four fifty five also. First to find both. So the number is there five. So we can uh, see with three and five. It is not there in three. So we can take five directly. Five nine za forty five. Five one za. So again, 91. In which table it is there? You can see here from uh, 7 table. 7 ones are 7 and 7 threes are 21. So 13 seven are 91. Now 13 is the prime number. So take directly 13 ones are 13. So students, uh, we got here, share 64 by 455 is equals to how many twos are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 by 5 into 7 into 13. So we can write like this. Uh, how many are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 2 to the power 6 by 5 into 7 into 13. Uh, you can observe here. <coughs> In the denominator. Now, after doing this one, what we have to concentrate? We have to concentrate on the denominator what is in the denominator that we have to read the denominator is not in the form form of 2 to the power m into 5 to the power n or 2 to the power m or 5 to the power m share it is not in the form of the 2 to the power m into 5 to the power n and it is also not in the form of the 2 to the power m and also not in the form of 5 to the power of m. 5 is there but with this, see here, you may ask the question, so 5 is there. Why sir is not telling that it is not there. 5 is there but also we have to think, we have to think about the remaining numbers. See here, what I told you. It should be in the form of 2 to 5 or 2 or 5. But uh, if there is 7 and 13, that uh, uh, 
it also uh, we can one more one more point we can write here it also contains 7913 as its factors share this is a very important because 7913 is there it should not be there in the denominator hence what we can write here hence the decimal expansion of 64 by 455 is we can write non terminating non terminating repeating we can write so it is not non terminating okay students is it understood uh, can you go for uh, next question that is uh, Question number four in this we will continue. The question number four is 15 by 1600. You can observe in textbook also 15 by 1600. So let, let us see the next question 15 by 1600. Now what we have to do first prime factors we have to find out. Uh, both numerator and denominator. But, uh, Denominator is very important. We have to observe here after doing this one. 7 should not be there and 13 should not be there because they are prime numbers. Only it is in the form of the 2 into 5 or 2 or only 5. That we have to remember. Yes, friends. Share now. Now 15. We can write this directly. So I am not going to do here for uh, 15 factor 3 into 5. It's very simple. We can write directly. And uh, factors of 1600, I will do here. So the number is uh, 0, so we can take from 2. 2 is uh, 16, 0, 0. 2, 4 is uh, 0, 0. 2, 2 is uh, 2, 1 is uh, 2, 50 is uh, 2, 25 is uh, now 5, 5 is uh, 5, 1 is uh. So how many 2s are there? That you can read. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 2 to the power 6 into 5 to the power 2. <coughs> now, what we can write 15 by 1600 is equals to 3 into 5. Down now, what we can write 2 to the power 6 into 5 to the power 2. So, before only I told you here denominator matters but what uh, way we should find the factors of numerator means here I will explain you see here here uh, 5 and 5 are there no here uh, 5 are 2 are there 5 square here 5 1 so 1 5 1 5 get cancels means 1 will remain here means only 1 5 is remaining so while cancelling sometimes uh, we may get a different answer for, for that reason uh, I told you you should find out the factors of numerator also. So what we left here? Only 3 and 2 to the power 6 into 5. So now we can observe here the denominator is of the form. Now observe the denominator. Now you have to observe the denominator. The denominator is of the form. Don't forget to write this all uh, in uh, for all sums in exam also. Don't forget to write this uh, statement. Okay, the denominator is of the form two to the power n in uh, m into two five to the power n. Hence, so two is also there, five is also there. So what you can write? Hence, the decimal expansion. is terminating I hope you understood this question number four let's go for a uh, question number five okay next uh, question number five is 29 by 343 now again we have to do what is the step prime factors of factor of 343 we are not here 29 because 29 is a prime number we know that uh, so students uh, do remember this all 
prime number so that uh, it is uh, very helpful in doing this one 29 is a prime number so i left this one directly i will do 343 so from which table we can take from three table it is not possible three ones are three ones not possible so take uh, seven you will try seven seven four is a 28 and seven nine is a seven seven is a seven one is a students uh, we can see here uh, what are the factors of this seven into seven into seven so uh, you can write directly seven twenty nine by seven cube so here the denominator you can observe denominator is not in the form of 2 to the power m into 5 to the power n and it also has one more you can write it also it has 7 as its factor so 7 is there means uh, uh, only 2 and 5 should be there if other number is there means uh, it's not all means it is not a terminating so we can write hence the decimal expansion of 29 by 343 is non terminating difference i have understood this one uh, let's uh, go for uh, next question that is uh, 23 by this is little bit different and i don't think that uh, it's very difficult but very easy but little dif different so <clears throat> you can uh, understand easily i will explain you the question number six here question number six is 23 by 2 to the power 3 5 to the power 2 so is there any need to do the term factor here prime factors not because already they have given and this is a prime number okay and uh, <clears throat> in denominator we have to observe denominator what is there the denominator is of the form here i have to write only one statement here the denominator the denominator is of the form which form 2 to the power m into 5 to the power n means uh, both are different no 3 into power so m and n will comes if both are same only we can write here n so hence this is terminating very simple sixth one is very simple we did this one now let us go for question number seven that is 129 by 2 to the power 5, 5 to the power 7 and 7 to the power 5. This also not need to do the prime factors but one thing uh, very simple in this we have to observe that the denominator we can observe there. In the denominator it has, here in the denominator we can see that it is in the form of 2 to the power m and uh, 5 to the power n but it has 7 as a factor you can observe here 7 is there no 7 to the power 5 so if it, it has 7 as a factor so this is non terminating we can write hence this is non terminating Yeah, we did uh, quickly okay and uh, let's go for question number eight okay i will do uh, fast now because i already have understood all this one because i am solving all the questions so that you can uh, if you if any questions you can't understand means again you can revise here so here uh, six by fifteen so the prime factors we have to write first so prime factors of two uh, six is uh, two into three. I have written it directly. If you can't, uh, if you don't know, you can do. And uh, here uh, three into five you can write. Okay. Now 
in this is it possible to cancel any numbers uh, you can try so 3 and 3 we can cancel uh, we left here only 2 by 5 only 2 by 5 is left now we have to observe the denominator the denominator is in the form of 5 to the power n m so different no so it is there no 5 is there so what we can write hence this is terminating friends you have to remember this one if it is the denominator is in the form of 2 to the power n and 5 to the power n or it is in the form of 2 to the power m or 5 to the power m then only it is terminating if other numbers are in, uh, coming there means it is if there is a 7 13 all the different prime numbers then we should uh, uh, say it as a non terminating okay students i hope you understood this one now let's go for uh, question number 9 and uh, the question is 35 by 50 okay friends so uh, fact, prime factors of 35 and 50 have to do so 35 I will write here directly uh, 5 into 7 5 and 35 and 50 you can do here 225 is a 5 5 is a and 5 1 is a so we can write here 2 into 5 into 5 so what we can cancel here is there any numbers to cancel so we can cancel here 5 and 5 okay students <coughs> and what left here behind 7 by 2 into 5 now see here it is in the form of uh, 2 again we have to write the statement the denominator observe the denominator now the denominator don't forget to write this one denominator is of the form 2 to the power m into 5 to the power m the powers are changed so we can write here hence uh, this is hence this is uh, terminating first 2 is also there and 5 is also there so we can see that it is a terminating so let's go for the next question that is last question uh, 77 by 210 this is, uh, in the first main last question that is uh, 77 by 210 so uh, prime factors we have to find here first of 77 and 210 both you find okay 77 you can write there 7 into 11 directly and uh, 210 you do here 2 ones are and uh, 2 fives are here 2 ones are 2 and directly we can take we are taking 2 digits so I have kept here 0 if you not give 0, zero again your factors will become wrong so 2 fives are 10 and uh, 2 fives are 10 and uh, in two table it is not possible so don't take here two so then uh, take uh, five five twos are ten five ones are next uh, three sevens are seven ones are so what are the factors here two into five into three into seven so now we can write here seven into eleven by seventy seven by two hundred and ten two into five into three into seven so any numbers are there to cancel so 7 is there 7 is there you can cancel so what left behind 11 by 2 into 5 into 3 okay, friends. now you can observe here in the denominator so 3 is there 2 and 5 is there but 3 is there no so what we have to write hence uh, this is non terminating right there the denominator is in the form of uh, it is not in the form of uh, it is in the form of 2 to the power m and 5 to the power m but 3 is there so it is a non terminating okay students i hope uh, you understood this one all and in the next video i will bring the question number uh, 2 and 3 two questions okay students until then bye jai hind